Let's go over to Governor Ron DeSantis, who's speaking right now about preparations for Elsa. Late tonight, you're going to see impacts all across the West Coast, uh, up the West Coast into the morning hours. We're anticipating a landfall probably between 8 a.m. and 9 a.m. tomorrow, somewhere again on the Nature Coast or Big Bend part of Florida. Uh, please heed uh, any type of warnings from your local officials. There have not been any widespread evacuation orders. There have been some voluntary orders in a handful of counties, and that's mostly targeted at people who have special needs, who are power dependent, or who are in very low-lying areas. Uh, but if you are provided that even on a voluntary basis we ask that you please take it seriously uh, and I cautioned uh, earlier today just be careful as you can complete your storm preparations we'll closely monitor this storm and provide uh, additional updates the roads will be dangerous as this storm passes through and in some ways it's fortunate this is going to be in the in the wee hours of the night there probably won't be a lot of traffic on the roads in places like the Tampa Bay area and in the nature coast uh, midnight, 2 a.m., 3 a.m., but this is not a time to joy ride. You do have hazardous conditions out there. And then if you do have a power outage, please, if you do use a generator, understand you cannot allow the exhaust to be inside your home, inside your garage, and if you set it up right outside a window and have the window open, you can still get the exhaust to come into the house. That will lead to carbon monoxide people. We see fatalities. We've seen them the last four years in Florida as a result of that. So please, if you are experiencing a powder outage and you're going to use a generator, make sure that that exhaust is exhausting away from your home and is not being done inside uh, the structure. Uh, we'll continue to have updates. We don't anticipate major changes to the track at this point. Uh, but if there is, obviously, we will be getting those from the National Hurricane Center, and we'll be passing along that accordingly. I'm going to let Kevin Guthrie, our Emergency Management Director, come up and say a few things. Thank you, Governor. Thank you for your leadership in this response. Um, as you've heard the Governor detail uh, in great detail, the preparations of the men and women behind me of the State Emergency Response Team, they are prepared for this disaster and they work 24-7 to ensure that we're ready for it. Again, you heard quite a few details um, from the governor on the actual capabilities. The State Logistical Resource Center is also working 24 hours a day, seven days a week with approximately 50 National Guardsmen to help us there. Um, and the last thing that I would say is, um, since we have very few power outages now, I would remind people if they wake up in the morning and they start to have damage, they see damage, the best thing that you can do as a homeowner is to go out and photograph that damage. Make sure you take pictures before you start cleaning up, especially if you have any type of flooding. Flooding only lasts temporary, so it's, it's very important to get those high water marks, flood marks on your homes, and then take those pictures very, very quickly. With that being said, uh, again, as the governor said, we will provide additional updates as we have them. Thank you. Questions for Kevin or for me? Governor, um, you requested a uh, emergency declaration from the, the president before our landfall. You, I, know, I guess we might get it. Uh, do you anticipate getting it? And if we don't get it, it's been, it's been approved. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's been approved. Yep. Yep. The federal assistance you need from the Biden administration or you're asking for? They, they've been great. I mean, they, they acted on that very quickly. And so, um, so we appreciate, obviously. We've, uh, we've worked, been working closely with Surfside and that tragedy, and so uh, we, we appreciate it. We also thank, I know our senators, when I requested it, they were very quick to, to urge that it, would be, um, that it would be approved. So, so I thank Senator Rubio and Senator Scott as well. Um, on the, the search and rescue stuff, I mean, obviously there are, I think everybody was you know, in, on, on Surfside. Have, have there been any of those personnel been staged? No, we have search and rescue that are ready to go. Um, and, and I want to thank, I've had an opportunity over the last few days to be able to visit with a lot of uh, urban search and rescue from other states who came down. Obviously, Team 1 and 2 are down in South Florida. They were there from the beginning 24-7. They worked their hearts out. We brought all the rest of the search and rescue teams from Florida down there. They were working on that pile. But we also understood that uh, we just needed to make sure that we had the preparations done. And so, so Kevin's got uh, those teams that, that are ready to respond. We have in Surfside now Ohio, New Jersey, Virginia, Indiana, 
And so we really appreciate it. I've had a chance to go meet with, with some of those folks. I want to thank Royal Caribbean for housing them on one of those nice cruise ships. They're feeding them and everything. And so there's a lot of good morale. Uh, those folks uh, coming down, we really appreciate it. And, you know, I told them, I said, um, something tells me that um, some of you guys and firefighters, you just may retire to Florida. So we'll probably see them at some point in the future. We'll have an update more tomorrow. All right, you've just been listening to Governor Ron DeSantis and Emergency Management Director Kevin Guthrie giving us a quick update about ELSA as it continues to move up the coast of Florida. The governor saying that there are no widespread evacuations. Right now there are voluntary evacuations, but you are asked to heed the warnings. If you're asked to leave, leave. If you need to leave, you're asked to do so as well. Stay off the roads because they could be hazardous. He said it's probably good that this is happening overnight because there's no need to be on the road overnight because it could get very dangerous. Also. A quick mention of power outages. Remember, if you're using a generator, don't do it inside your home, inside your garage, or near an open window. There is always that danger of carbon monoxide poisoning. So make sure you're doing that several feet away from your home. They have resources available 24 seven that is going to be on top of this, and we're gonna to continue to stay on top of them as well all throughout the night tonight. Let's take